So the next experiment is the study of parts of the flower. The flower that has been provided today is a China rose. So this outermost green smaller portion is your epicalyx. This inner portion is your calyx. This red is your corolla. And then on the inner portion, this entire thing from here to here represents your reproductive parts of the flower. This yellow portion represents your anthers. This anthers are numerous and the anthers are connected to a filament. From here to here represent your androsium. Whereas at the top, you can see the slightly blackish portions. This represents your stigma. The stigma is continuous downwards and reaches the ovary that is on the deep inner portion. So what you're going to do is, we're going to cut into equal halves to show you the various reproductive parts of a flower. So as you can see, this inner tube is connected over here. This represents your stel, this represents your stigma. Stigma is continuous through the stel and reaches the ovary that is over here. The androsium portion is over here, from here till here. This yellow portion is nothing but your anther which produce pollen grains.